Deploy, deploy, deploy. Dope. Hey everybody, this is Fully Off, and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video on the Just Vanilla server. Right, we're back in the nether again today, because I've, uh, you may remember a few episodes ago, I started work on my, uh, I called it a, a wither skeleton grinder thing, but it's, it's basically a, 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 I don't know, a sweeper, really, that, that sweeps everything off the, uh, off the nether fortress. But anyway, it seems to be working okay. And I've popped back in here to, to get a couple of skulls because I've been AFK. No, it's not really AFK because I've got to keep running up and down. The, the settings on the server, with it being a spigot server, um, the settings to reduce lag are quite low. So if you're outside, I don't know, a couple of blocks of anything, nothing happens. You know, nothing spawns, farmers don't farm, it, it, nothing happens. Uh, and it's a spigot thing. But uh, it does mean I have to keep running up, uh, you know, backwards and forwards with my sweeper to make sure that things spawn in front of it. But anyway, I've been doing that for a couple of days and I've got a few skulls. Uh, so I'm going to run down there and grab a few. I need to make a few beacons uh, because I want to finish off the farm we started in the last episode. Now I'm conscious that at the beginning of the last episode, I specifically said I really must start to finish off some of these projects and then I started a project on my farm and lo and behold I didn't finish it so it did make me smile however we're going to finish at least one of the farms off today I I did the pumpkin one yesterday I just want to put a roof on it uh, and to put a roof on it I, I need a beacon uh, and uh, I need some glass so that's why I'm over in the uh, that's why I'm over in the nether so we'll run down now run down to the uh, to the grinder, pick up some skulls. Actually, we'll turn it on while we're down there just to see if we can catch anything. How many people are on now? There aren't loads of people on, so we might be in luck. I can see a couple of skellies already on, on the voxel maps, top right. So maybe, maybe. Now, I haven't got a way in yet. Uh, the ideal way in would be down there and across there, but I can't. Look, there's a... Uh, They've already lit it up. Anyway, I can't run down there because if I do, uh, I'm going to antagonise the blaze and they're going to fire and there'll be light and oh, it's just sadness. So, I've got to run all the way across there. So I've got to go across there, across there, across there, across there, up back up there. All right, so I'll meet you when I'm over there. Look at that. Look, at it. it's lit up like a Christmas tree. I can only assume that somebody's been on there. I'm guessing somebody's wandered down here and, and, and had a wander in there uh, because there's no way I left it like that. But it now means that I've got to get in there and put all those fires out because while those fires are there, it's all lit up like a Christmas tree and, uh, and nothing's going to happen. Unbelievable. But we have got a couple of uh, couple of skellies there, which is brilliant. So let me get down there and turn it on, and we'll see if we can get another couple before I before I raid the ones that are there. Look at that, lit up like a Christmas tree. Actually, they're 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 out the way. It doesn't go far enough over. They're out the way. I need to bring those back over here a little bit. Beyond my better judgment, I'm going in. Yeah, look, somebody's somebody's been in and put put that across there. I'm sure that wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. Somebody has actually been into my farm and built something, because there's no way that was there. Otherwise, my sweeper wouldn't have made it down here. So thanks, thanks for. Thanks, yeah, whoever did this. I appreciate this no end. In fact, in fact, I'm not even going to mess about with it. Call me a cynic, but I'm going to go and ask one of the mods to find out who's done this because, because it's just not on. So I'll find out and then I'll be back in a minute. 
Okay, so I've had a word with one of the, I've had a word with one of the admins, and uh, and they've sorted well, they've sorted it out. They've told me who's done it, and they're going to go and have a chat with him or her. But that doesn't help me really, because now I've got to I've got to sort it out. I've got to take this monstrosity out um, because it's just banging the way, and also I've got to go around putting out all the fires. So suffice to say, I'm not very happy. Uh, so just don't go. Just do not do it. Don't go into other people's. Uh, and it's clear this is not just any old nether fortress. It's clear somebody's been working in here. Um, I just don't go in there and start building things. I mean, I can't tell you how upset I am about this. So, uh, so and regardless to say, uh, for the next 30 minutes, I'm going to be clearing this up. Uh, and hopefully, then I might be in the mood to, to do a bit more work on it. But at the moment, I'm ready for jacking this lot in. Because people just, you know, there's no, no appreciation anymore it's just let's go in there and let's mess it up and let's you know it's not mine but i'm still going to build in there anyway i'm, I'm going to rant for a while off camera okay so i think i've calmed down enough now to continue doing what i was doing so despite all of the signs and the uh, the work and the big luigi and my nether hub and everything else um Anyway, anyway, calm down, calm down. Deep breaths. Right, uh, I've got myself uh, 12 wither skulls out of a few days' work, which is pretty darn good, I think. Uh, which is obviously for four beacons, isn't it? 12. Is it four? Four? Four, eight, 12. Yeah. Four beacons. So I'm going to run over here and I'm going to sort myself out four beacons in my, in my wither killing chamber. There. I, I panic. I panic every time I come up here just to make sure that somebody hasn't somebody hasn't moved that yellow block. Because if they have, then I'm banging trouble. Beautiful. I'll do that another three times, and then we'll uh, we'll go and craft some beacons. Okay, so I've got my beacons and I've got my iron. The plan is to top that that farm there. It's got the wheat, it's got potatoes, it's got carrots, it's got some sugar cane, and then right at the top, it's got the pumpkin farm. And the uh, what I want to do is stick a beacon right right through the middle of it, uh, but I want to put a glass dome above the top of it, sort of top it off. And I'm going to do that in black glass. I'll do I'll do that one in black glass. I'll do that one when it gets to the top in yellow glass with a beacon through the middle as well. Just for looks, really. Hello, hello fella. You having a look? But before I do that, I just want to quickly show you. And I'm recording this a day after the last one. The day after the last video was rendered, so I've had a day, a, a day up there AFK, and in a day I've managed to get just over half a double stack of of pumpkins, which is brilliant. So it's working really well. He says, <laughs> it's, uh, "I'm sad and all surprised. I knew it was going to." The second I sorted it out, I knew it was going to. Right, do my little Snoopy dance. Deploy. Wow. I can't use these things for toffee. Brilliant. So I'm going to build a uh, one right on top of here. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four.
Now I know for looks I could have just had a uh, tiny little beacon up here, but I'm gonna I'm, I'll stick health on it anyway. Uh, possibly even jump too. She can't go wrong with a bit of jumping, uh, which is why I'm doing a full size beacon and not just a little Mickey Mouse one. Just in case you're wondering. Okay, so we've got a bit of jump, we've got a bit of regen. Everybody loves that. So now the plan, as I say, is to build build a dome above it. And I'm going to be using plots. I, I tend to use plots for pretty much everything when I'm building circle. Well, I built that over there, my flying saucer, my spaceship iron farm. I built that using plots, plots.co.uk fantastic go and check it out if you need to build circles or uh, lighthouses or uh, you know there's a lot of shapes on there just go and go and check it out so uh, i'm not going to bore you while i'm building a uh oh shouldn't be able to get in there uh, i'm not going to bore you while i'm building this big big dome but we'll have a look when i've done it Unbelievable. Unbelie One day I'm going to learn how to use this elytra. Unbelievable. What a day. Can't believe that. Can you believe that? I don't believe that. I managed to get out of the hole, fall back in again, and then zoom around in there like a ping pong ball. No doubt those guys are stood in there laughing at me. But he called this to get in. Look at this. Well, at least I've managed to get most of it back, I guess. Oh, okay. Nothing spoiled. Ha, huh. nothing spoiled. Don't have any... Don't have any yellow stuff on me, though, do I? Don't have any of that stuff on me, either. I've got a bit of work to do. I've got some messing about to do up here. <laughs> we'll give it, another, give it another go then, shall we? Have I picked everything up? <laughs> I did. I was like a like a ping pong ball inside of a can. Then I was all over the place. I can't believe I did that. All right, again, again. Crikey, I got out that time. Look at that, we'll have a quick shift around while I've got a couple of rockets left. That's what it looks like from the outside. I, don't, I think that looks okay. I like that. I can't land. I can't take off. I can't land. I shouldn't be trusted with a pair of elytra. I shouldn't. Should not, should not be trusted. Excellent. Deploy. <laughs> I'm rubbish at it. Anyway, there it is. There it is. That's half a job done. I said I was going to finish a full job. I've managed to get half a job done. So for the time being, you're just going to have to call me Arthur. Right. What to do now? What to do now? I'm going to have a think about what to do now. I'm probably going to finish off the rest of those farms.
probably going to do that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe after I've had five minutes in a dark room. Okay, well, I've had a bit of a lie down in my dark room. And uh, <laughs> and I recovered a little bit and I feel a little bit better about myself. And I came out and I did a bit more work. I remember saying that I was concerned my island was looking a little bit boring and and I don't finish things and everything else. Uh, so I, I thought I'd mess about with my boat. I, I was going to do my farm, but I'd, I'd already done a bit of farming. So I decided to, to go off and do some work on my boat. So I've done a little bit of work on my boat. Uh, and I've uh, I've started messing up. I think I've got an idea for how I want the sails. Uh, and I'm going to have a bit of rigging in there. I'm going to have uh, a mast at the front with a bit of rigging at the front. I'm also trying to get it out of the dry dock kind of thing. At the moment, only the front is submerged, so to speak. The rest of it down the side uh, and all the way around the back uh, is surrounded by... By sand, which is the sand I put in there originally when I when I first built it, it's still there. But I need to move some of the villager villager stuff. We'll call it stuff. Oh, look at that. Move some of this stuff. These this rail, th these rails. Got to move some of this uh, before I take down all of the sand. Uh, all of this has got to be. Um, hold in, I guess you'd say. I need to put loads of wood around here, which I don't have on me. Uh, so I've got to do that. Uh, and also, while I've been away, I remember telling you that I was going to let you know what villagers I got when I did a lot of breeding the other day. And then I, I cut it all out of the last video because it was just getting too long. So I'll quickly show you now. I don't have... I was a bit worried about this little jetty thing, but I think it's it's turned out okay. I'm not I'm not uh, unliking that. I think that's okay. So out of all the ones that we managed to mess about with the other day, I only got a few that were any good. So this is what I've got now. I've got a silk touch seven, which you know about, and mending for thirty two, which is pants that we had. Efficiency, I think we had that one looting for 25 and breaking 3 for 13. I've got a new depth strider for 3 for 13. A fortune 3 for 25. Luck of the sea 3 for 16, which is okay. A looting 3 for 19, which is slightly better. Uh, fortune 3 38. I've got my sharp misfire, which we had. Lure 3. A silk touch for 7. Another one. Again, you can't be having silk touch. And on this side... Power 5 we had for the falling 3 for 18, which is not bad. I think that's my best feather falling. Uh, and mending. I've got another mending for 12 now. It's not quite the 10 I had, but it's certainly better than the mending I've got for 32. So he's, he's okay for the time being. And then my respiration for 24. I have already had to flush loads of them. Turn my breeder back on again. And I've started getting these guys back in to replenish. Uh, but so far, I've not got another mending... Uh, sorry, I've not got another librarian. I've had a couple of cartographers and loads of dross. You know, loads of rubbish. But... Anyway, so that's uh, that's what I've currently got villager-wise. And I've also, in the meantime put a bit of an island around my village of breeder. To get to my breeder, I had to swim. Uh, which, for some reason, and I don't know why, when I initially landed on the island, I decided to build the village of breeder off to the side. And I can't remember why. I mean, I don't know why I built this off the main island. There was no reason for me to do it, I guess. I suppose I was trying to put it you know, away from my iron farm up there. But anyway, so I've uh, I've decided to stick a bit of an island around it now uh, to make it easier to get to. So I'm liking that. Now, I'm going to start doing... I'm, here's me giving you loads of things I'm going to start doing. I need to hide all of this lighting. I need to put down some pathways. I need to put down some, you know, just some stuff to look at. Bit of fencing, just generally make it look like I live here rather than it's an island that I'm on 
at the moment. But I think my next, oh, and I also, also another project I've started that I'm not going to finish forever, but I've started it anyway. I'm going to be building a lighthouse. It's an island. It needs a lighthouse. I built a lighthouse in the last series. I'm going to be building a lighthouse in this one too. And I'm going to be building it all the way over here. Now, it's not going to be a working lighthouse. I'm not going to have redstone in it, A, because that causes a lag. Uh, and B, you won't be able to see it anyway. I mean, I'll get a couple of chunks over there and you won't be able to see it anyway. So, so there's no point in doing it. But that's where it's going to go. And I might even turn that into some kind of base kind of thing with my bed in it and a bit of storage. I don't know yet. Maybe, maybe not. Loving that farm. So I think the plan for the remainder of this episode is for me to grab some wool, grab some wood... See if I can put a few sails on the HMS Emerald over there and get that looking like a boat that's in the dock. I think of you know a few layers of of wool at the bottom and a bit of rigging with fence fences going up the sides. That would look okay, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think that would look okay. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And I'll see you back here in a minute. Well, you won't be surprised to hear that uh, there's been a change of plan. What I'm going to do first, instead of making the ship look all shippy and nice, I'm going to get it out of dry dock. I'm actually going to get rid of all of the sand. Because then that is one job that's been, you know, ongoing forever that I will actually have completed. And to do that, I just need to, as I, me I mentioned earlier, I need to mess about with the rails underneath. So I've done a bit of work on that. I've moved the rails. Now, they used to come down here and then up there. I've I've compacted it slightly now. So instead of it coming straight out and, and over there, it, the, the killing chute now goes over there and round. But I need to test it now to make sure that it works. So I need to find a willing contender. Need to be able to get out first, don't I? Right. Nice to see you. Bye. Sure sounds like it's working. Yep. We have got a brown villager. Now, as long as this goes back up there, we're okay. Perfect. That's fantastic. Okay, so that works now. The next job, then, is to fill all of this in. Okay, we've got to the stage that's going to make me the most nervous about doing this, because if this all goes pear and I get water inside on the redstone, uh, potentially I could lose all my villages, but hopefully I won't do. Because of the way water works, I think this isn't... Most of this is going to finish up like that. Empty. And I'll have to go around with a bucket and fill it in manually. But to get rid of the sand on this side, what I've done... Uh, because I've built the sand on top of a solid block, if I put a slab, up, a bottom slab, underneath that and break that block there... All the sand falls down and breaks on that half slab. So uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed, wish me luck and everything else. We'll be able to just whiz down here now and get rid of all of the sand. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's get rid of the last one. I wasn't going to do the last one, but I will get rid of the last one. And I was just say, I am, I, 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 am, I am going to have to go around with a bucket.
Yeah, I am going to have to go around with a bucket. Oh, that's handy. Oh, that's interesting. That might do me a favour, actually. If I can make sure that on the inside, then, everything is... That one's okay to do. That... Ah, ah, it's filling in. It's filled in. That's fantastic. I was all worried that I'd have to do all that by hand. But just by removing that end block, it's all filled in. Brilliant. Now, it's not under here isn't brilliant. I know before you start saying anything, it's not great. But you ain't going to see this. So anyway, let me... I'll, I'll get rid of these blocks here, these half slabs. I'll whip round the other side. We'll do the same round the other side. And then I'll get a bottle of champagne. Right, round two. if this is all going to fill in when I get rid of this block. Hmm. Look at that. Brilliant. Well, I'm nearly brilliant. Obviously a reason for that. Why is that there then? Oh, because I've not filled the rest of this in with wood. Nearly brilliant. Nearly brilliant. That it'll do. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that could have been disastrous, couldn't it? Had a leakage. Uh oh. Okay, how much damage have I done? Nothing really, nothing that can't be sorted out. Phew, that could have been bad. Anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, anyway, anyway, we're okay. I had nobody in there, it was okay. So I do have to remember then, before I take the back wall out, that I've got redstone right next to it, so I need to sort that out. But we're afloat. Well, nearly afloat, mostly afloat. Mostly afloat. I can live with that. So I've finally nearly finished the job. I've nearly finished getting my boat afloat. But it's far more afloat than it was this time yesterday. So I've got to be reasonably happy. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode, everybody. If you have, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is Fully Off. Thanks to HMS Emerald. And I'm out of here.